I want the front row to smell you. Oh, I you love look it. divine. She smells so, so good. She does. She said her hair really smell does. It. I want the front row to smell you. <laughs> and the smeller. <laughs> yeah, I like so, it. Smelling good. So good. Yes. We are so excited to have you on the yes. show. So you made headlines when you appeared on the October cover of Cosmopolitan UK. <laughs> it was awesome. I loved, loved it. it. Um, did you ever think you were going to become a Cosmo girl? Absolutely not. <laughs> I never thought in a million years that I would be on the cover of Cosmo. I didn't even believe that it was happening until the actual issue came out. I was like, mm -hmm. they could still change their mind, but <sighs> they didn't, thank goodness. But no, <laughs> I, I never imagined it would be. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and, it was and I'm gonna tell you, your fans had your back mm -hmm. when yes. Piers Morgan criticized it, um, the cover, saying it was dangerous and full of baloney. How did you feel when he said that? I mean, I thought it was funny. I think, I, and I also have some compassion towards him because I think anyone attacking a complete stranger and saying awful things, they're yes. obviously not happy with who they are. Free, yeah. Say that. So, say that. You know. And he keeps, he keeps tweeting at you. He tweeted at you a couple of days ago, right? He's obsessed with me. I think it's, I think it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's I'm not right. mad at it, no. no. Okay. <laughs> well, your message is all about loving yourself regardless of how you look in your current body. When right. did you first learn how to love yourself. It really didn't start until I, until I started modeling. I had, you know, access to fashion that fit my big body. I realized that, like, I didn't have to uh, get into, like, these aspirational sizes to love myself. Yeah. I was just yep. like, cool, I can, like, love and exist in this body and be happy. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. See what happens. It's beautiful. So great. That is so great. Some women spend so much of their life never getting that message. What do you think the ripple effect would be if women began to learn to love themselves and their bodies? I mean, I think it would be really powerful. I think we would definitely have less hate that's going on yeah. right now in the world. I think, yeah. um, you know, I think we should all be a little kinder to each other and to ourselves and, and realize that life is hard. And if it means that, like, being kind to yourself could therefore mean being kind to other people and oh. helping everyone, then, like, why not? I don't know. I yeah. love Snowball you. You're so positive. <laughs> okay. Positive.